observer that's Kareem on the scene again, and I'm about to actually help you understand the power of your body. Now, you know how I like to keep it simple, but I'm not going to sit up here and worry about no clock because all you individuals in the comment section is saying he's talking too much. Go watch somebody else, man. You know, it's not a lot of individuals out there that actually is just giving you that fire information. You know, they might just slide you a recipe and you might not know why. They might just tell you to take some herbs and you don't understand how it's going to actually uh, benefit you. If you're watching my videos, you understand that I'm actually trying to get you to the point that you can actually do this on your own. Because just like I can't take these phone calls because I have an actual course going on with business. I actually have uh, my products that I got going on, getting them out there when you guys order them. And I actually have a family and whatnot. You guys got a life too. So I'm trying to make sure while I navigate and while you navigate, you take care of the most precious thing that you own and that you actually control is your body. So a lot of us sleep on taking care of the body. A lot of us actually think that it's, going, it's been getting along and making it this long. It's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. But you really need to understand that your body is always under attack. You know, and individuals are actually trying to make sure that they give you that best tasting bacon, that best tasting ice cream, that best tasting chips and, and uh, fast food out here, best tasting food that's in the store that you can just microwave and, and, and warm up. The best taste of, it has so many preservatives, it tastes so good. I know I've been there, I know what you mean, and some issues I'm still stuck there. But that meat, you gotta actually cut that out your life. The grains, you got to cut that out your life. The actual, uh, the the sugars, you got to cut that out. The fake salt, it's got to be gone, done. The moral of the story is, your body loves vegetables and fruit. Simple, simple. It loves vegetables and fruit. So when you're sick, I mean literally, when you're sick, your body will actually heal itself when you just stop and pause off the BS you eat. The herbs come through, the herbs come through and just literally amplify and helps what? Detox you quicker. Because that's the key, detoxing the crap out of you in order for your body to do its job. So while the body's doing its job, us herbalists is telling you, hey look, take this and take this and fast. So this can actually um, work quicker for you. So you can get over this cancer. So you can get over this actual diabetes, this high blood pressure. You can get over these herpes. You can get over these actual, uh, the um, any ailment, bronchitis issue, uh, arthritis issue, anything you can, brain, memory issue, actual autoimmune disease, grave disease, anything you can think of. Give me fruits and vegetables. <laughs> see, see, this is what blows me away, is that we've been undereducated so much Simple things like this, for instance, your body is so powerful. The thing we run from on a regular basis is the sun. You see, you at work, you definitely in a building hiding from the sun. You are what is it called at home, away from work. At home, you in your home and a house away from the sun, blocking the sun. Well, like when I was doing the farmer's market and actually selling my little stuff and putting booths up, shade, hiding from the sun. The sun is the most powerful piece that feeds everything living outside of the porch of earth. So everything outside, not inside the earth, outside of earth is like a, the porch. It's like the outside portion of the earth. You're not inside the house of earth. You don't know what's going on in them several layers of inside the earth. So you're on the outer part. And there's a sun on the outer part. Just like there's one inside, but there's a sun on the outer part. That feeds every living thing. Ain't you living? Last time I checked, if you're watching me, you're living. You're breathing. Okay? So you need to start doing things to actually correct issues with the sun. So... To me, the most powerful thing is the sun right here. Now, sun gazing. I know you heard it before, so let me help you understand a little bit more about this sun gazing thing and the sun. This is a natural, natural thing that actually will, any issues you got going on in your mind, body, it will eradicate it. Eradicate it. And it's free. 
<laughs> it's funny how it's free. It's, it's right out there. I'm always talking about Mother Nature. So let me get to it. You know, 98% of sunlight can only be received by the body through your eyes. Okay, so when you guys are thinking they're talking about something, you look at the guy like, ah, my eyes burning. Okay, because you ain't used to it. You ain't been doing that. I do it every now and then. And, and I'm getting to the point that I'm graduating up to every day. Now, 2% of the sun actually goes through your skin. You know, that vitamin D they be talking about and whatnot. But uh, it can only be received through the skin, the other largest organ of the body. But your sun can receive 98%. Now, let me help you understand a little bit more so you wasn't know, just going out there looking at the sun like a crazy person. <laughs> if your eyes is green, like Kareem's, or gray, you know, or blue, you can't be looking at the sun too long. You're not going to receive as much as someone with brown or black eyes. You dig it? So don't think that I'm actually being biased and talking about black, black people. You know, there's a lot of people, different shades that have black and brown eyes. So I just happen to have some green eyes. After I found out more details about my eyes, I wasn't happy about it. You dig it? But when I was younger, I was like, wow, man, yeah, I'm gonna get the ladies, man. I'm gonna get a lot of attention because I got green eyes, this is hot. It comes along with a, an embarrassment past, you dig it? And your ancestors and whatnot. You know what I mean. We won't go there. But anyways, when you're actually looking into the sun, the darker your eyes are, the more you can receive. The longer you can start sun gazing. And you want to start sun gazing in the morning rise, practicing when sunrise and sunset. That's the best time because it won't be painful on your eyes. You want to start out with something like what? The time frames? You want to start out anywhere between 20 seconds to 30 seconds. Literally, 20 seconds to 30 seconds looking at the sun, not even blinking, trying your best. If you blink, okay, cool. But you wanna look at the sun. Sunrise and sunset. Not when it's at its highest peak. peak. That's for the actual advanced users, those that actually been doing this for a while. They can do it 20, 30 minutes at a time, just chill, boom, looking at the sun, just gazing at the sun, getting all that energy that the sun is giving them, getting all that energy the sun is giving you. That, that sun is giving you food, vitamin D, high energy, boosting everything inside your body, just amplifying it. <laughs> Anything going on, I don't care what you got going on, cancer, herpes, uh, uh, what is it called? I mean, you name it, bronchitis, lung disease, it's eradicated. Because it's what? It's giving your white cells a superhero boost. They turn them into like Superman, you know, super cells. That's exactly what they do. The sun. So, Take that for what it is. That's how powerful the body is. That's how powerful Mother Nature is. Going out there, you can just go get it. You just go get it. The herbs is for those that actually don't want to go out there in the sun. Those that are not working in the field. Those that are scared of the sun. I always feel like they sweating. It's too much. Those of you who ain't drinking water. I mean, those living elements out there got something for you. Water, it's another thing. Your body is made over how much percentage? Over 70? Some people say 70. You know, it's really over 80% water. Wow, that much water? My body's made of that much? Wow. And you, how many cups you drink a day? How much you take in? I mean, your body ain't on this alkaline state. It don't need a whole bunch of alkaline water all day. Your body needs water. Clean water. And the reason why you need alkaline water on a regular basis, that's why I like when Dr. Sabi talked about alkaline diet, alkaline diet, because you live in an acidic environment. That's all you around. It's nothing but fried this, starch this, carbohydrates this, sweets this. I mean, the sweets, man, that take me there because that's an addiction I got. I mean, meat this. Everything is foul, foul, ultraly acidic. So your body wants to be at that 7.2. 7.5 ratio, that's what it wants to be at. Yeah, you got some alkaline portions in your body, organs and whatnot, but your body wants to actually deal, be in that neutral state. So if you overly alkaline your body when you're going through sickness and eating all the filth, you're gonna do what? It's gonna automatically start correcting 
any issues that you got in your body. The power of water. If you just drink water, clean water on a regular basis, what do you think going to happen? Think you're going to die? No, you're probably going to be full from drinking water all the time. And you ain't going to be home before that BS they give you on a regular basis. I mean, what do you think herbalists be telling y'all to fast? Fasting actually amplifies, speaks up the purification stage of your body. On that second, third day, your body starts, boom, pushing out all impurities on its own. So when you give, take herbs with it, it speeds the process up. It actually makes them more healthy because it's a lot of herbs that are rich in enzymes, rich in minerals, rich in antioxidants, rich in just, just minerals in, that you actually need, like zinc, magnesium. I mean, you name it, it's rich in it, and you ain't getting it. Organic this, organic or non-organic. Would you? If, if an apple is organic and it's a non-organic apple, it's still grown from a same tree. But they got loopholes on how they can say this is organic and this ain't organic. They can pesticide spray or and grow it in soil. So you might have organic soil, but you have a GMO fruit because it's sprayed and the skin is just filthy and the colon don't like it. You have, or or they might not spray it, but the soil is at a at a base and it turned over so much. That's how they done with the planet. It's just not real soil anyway. It's not organic soil anyway. It's fake, filthy, non <laughs> rich soil. So when you getting on this plain words with organic and non-organic, they playing with you. Okay, just hope you understand. The fact that you can take a grapefruit and you can take an onion. And I got this from a powerful herbalist in Canada named Dave. A grapefruit, an onion, and an actual, what's that actually? Other, uh, and a ginger. When I had this one time, it opened me up so much it was ridiculous. You kind of like take the grapefruit and you peel, you know, the actual skin off. But you keep the, the white part and the fruit, grapefruit itself intact. Boom, chop it up in fours, slide it over to the side. And then you juice it. And you'll juice it. Then you take the ginger. You take one stock of ginger. You peel the skin because it's filthy with pesticides. Your, your coating don't like it. And you actually put it in a juicer and you juice it. And then you, uh, you juice it mm -hmm, in a cup. And now you got the grapefruit and you got the ginger in the same cup. And then you take your what? Your onion, half of an onion, boom, you throw it up in there. These ain't got to be organic. <laughs> throw them in there. See what it does to your body and you juice it. <laughs> and after you take that and you take like what? Don't take a whole bunch of it. Don't drink the whole thing. You take something like a tablespoon, less than a tablespoon, every two hours. Not with drugs. Not with no medical drugs. No dope. No Skittles from the pharmaceutical. None of those. With always two, three min hour minimum when you actually doing this. I've tried it, done it. It's powerful. That's going to open you right up. Your lungs, your actual bronchitis, your respiratory system, your breathing, your circulation. It's just, just, it's just, boom, just pushing right through. It's powerful, man. And that's all from the start. So. You can just do certain things to amplify your body. Your body begging for this stuff. So this other things that's hanging out in your body, you get individuals dealing with candida. Come on now. I showed you how to do the candida. Go watch the video. You literally can just order some herbs and just start killing in out candida out your body. Or, or forget it. If you don't want to actually go that route, go down to the actual store, your local store, and go get yourself some garlic. Put garlic and ginger together and a whole lemon. Bah, bah. Cut it up in there and throw it in there, you know, and blend it or juice it. Take a couple shots of that. No, not a couple shots. One shot of that, like one, you know, little tequila shots. Take a half a shot, not a whole shot. A half a shot of that a day. <laughs> Take the candy, you gonna have a chance? No, garlic gonna go through there and just you're going to be on the toilet. Believe that. So, it's not like you can't take care of your body 
with the things that are actually in the store. There's a lot of fruits and vegetables in the store. The actual herbs come in at doing what? Amplifying, healing your body when you have pancreas issues and you actually need to heal the pancreas. Like with milk thistle. Milk thistle is a beast when it comes to healing the pancreas. You know, so when you fasting and your body is naturally pushing out impurities out of its body, you come through and take some milk thistle, it's going to amplify healing your pancreas. I mean, the sun, it's going to heal everything in the body. You ain't getting no sun. No sun. Why do you think when people was out there in the field, and those that are out in the field today, you know what the group of people that's out there, they live a long time. They strong. The sun, they're getting it on their skin, and they're getting it through their eyes. All day. And now then they're looking up at the sun like, I wish my life was a little bit better than this. They sun gazing. They don't even know it. They out there working, getting it in. And it's hitting their sun. The sun is hitting their skin. And they're living a long time. That's why actually the Africans lived so long. The average lifespan was 92, 94 in the fields, working, getting it in. The sun was feeding them. And on top of that, they got that high melanin. It just amplified their skin even more because it's carbon based. Come on now. Come on now. I ain't going to go there. But I'm trying to help you understand the power of your body. It's a lot of things that you don't need to be, you can actually do on your own by just you dealing with diabetes, you dealing with blood pressure. I did the videos to show you how to actually correct those issues. The reality is, it's fasting. Fasting will collect, correct 90% of the issues that you have, if not 100%. And when you get with the right herb, when you're in a stage four, stage five, and you're about ready to just, it's, it's, it's about to be over because you're going to be in the hands of the so-called doctor, you know, that's practicing medical on you, you know, with giving you pharmaceutical products. And then they start shooting you up with this and giving you that and hooking you up with little machines that this way. They breaking your body down. You breaking your body down because you don't know no better. But Kareem is here to help you understand. All you need to do is get your ways back out there to nature. Stuff is out there. I mean, they put it in the stores. A lot of us just don't know how to use it. I mean, I mean, the fruits and vegetables... At one point in time, to me, it was so nasty. I was like, I'm told turned off on fruits and vegetables. It literally, when I first started out eating fruits and vegetables, I was in the store like a crazy man, like looking for tampons for my wife or something. I, I'm lost. You say look for wings, or you say look for this. The uh, I want Cotex, or look for. I'm lost. Pick up these for me, baby. Really? Uh, they have a whole bunch of, they have a whole aisle dedicated for that, for that area down there. And it's toxic stuff that you put down there anyway. Hmm. But I just supposed to be sent there to go get some cold text. You know how many brands that, anyway, <laughs> back to what I was saying, that's how lost I was. That was my parable, my example. I was when I was going into the fruit section. And a lot of y'all is just like that too. And y'all go in that fruit and vegetable section. When you go in the store, it's usually to your right. A whole section or to your left. A whole section of just fruits and vegetables. And you like. And you GMO. What that? I ain't got time to look that up. Is that bad or good? Organic. I guess I'll get it because organic, I know mean original or something like that. So it's supposed to be way better than anything else. That I guess it's not fake. Let me let me throw this in my basket. Okay, well what am I going? What am I going to actually mix with this? Mm, I don't I don't I don't know. Um, what kind of juice would I make? You know, uh, is it going to be a green juice and? Do I put honey or agave in it? How do I sweeten it? 
Because, man, it's going to be nasty by itself. Do I throw ice in it? Do I get a juicer? Do I get a blender? Damn, man, this is just too hard, man. I, let me go over there to that actual bacon section and the meat section because I know I could get some bread and some mayo, cut some condiments and whatnot and some, some, some dressing and I can literally just put some up a little bit of meat and cheese on there and I'm good because this is this, this, this and, and the bread. I'm going to go with the whole wheat and try to eat better. But that this stuff's too hard. I can't do it. <laughs> that was that was me, man. And then I transitioned like I could do it now. Now, now, then I found out the whole wheat is bad. It's not. It's it's horrible. It's still grains. It's fake bread. So that's garbage. It's just, just high in carbohydrates that get me fat. Mm. Okay, okay. Since I don't understand that fruit section and vegetables, let me just go get a fruit, uh, actual salad. You know, I deal with the salad and get this salad bag and give me a cool dressing that I can rock. Oh, man, but Dr. Sadie said, dairy is horrible. Oh, your lady of Africa said it's garbage too. It's a... <sighs> okay, I'm going to go with this actual sesame seed oil or this actual... Uh, this Bragg's oil. Let me let me go with this olive leaf oil. Olive 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 oil with this actual mixture of some spices and whatnot. And I'm gonna go with this because I I, I I let me get them raisins over here to just sprinkle on top of my actual salad. And I'm gonna take some eggs and boil them and chop them up and sprinkle it on top. I, I can do that. Let me get some olives and sprinkle that on my salad. I, I could do that, but now, wow, I've been doing this for like two weeks, three weeks, just salading it up and peanuts. I'm hungry. I want something different. I miss that root beer. I miss the ice cream. I'm, I'm, man, look at that person eating that sandwich right there. Damn. I mean, why are they all, they all around me? Why would you be doing that? Coming home. Why? What, what's that y'all making? Chicken? I miss chicken, too. What? You ha why is this leftover bacon up in here? Y'all ain't right. Hmm, I've been having salad and peanuts every day. It's just war. I'm okay, but, but let me mix it up a little bit. I, mean, I, can, I can do it. Let me, let me see if I can go online and Google me some, some juice recipes. Let me actually make some juices. Wow, let me... Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me put this... Uh, okay, now I'm, uh, I can do it. I'm going up in this vegetable fruit section. Okay, I got some apples and some oranges and some bananas. Yeah, throw some pineapple juice with that or some actual apple juice with that. I can start getting beasty with this actual fruits and whatnot. Yeah, I'm juicing right now. No, that's sugar, man. You having a sugar juice, okay? Because you're throwing in some agave and some honey and some actual apple juice or pineapple juice with your fruit. You might as well just go on and get the actual processed juice. No, man, you literally got to, if you anything, you can take the juice, throw some ice in there to make it cold and have the fruits and vegetables. And if you're going to do with a fruit, make all fruits and deal with greens, make all greens. That's a different type of juice and different flavor. Throw some ice in there and with some hemp, hemp milk, and you're good. <laughs> I mean, that's a little actual mix and flavor you got to do. You, you really can't rock with the extra sweetness. If you're going to put a little sweet in there, use stevia. Okay, but and then you could throw a little bit of sprinkles of herbs in there, or whatnot. Some basil, some olive leaf, some actual, uh, some uh, what is it called? Some some actual cayenne pepper, a little sprinkle in there. You can you're not heating none of this up. It's all good. You can throw a little bit of iris moss or some bladder rack, some dandelion, some burdock, some milk thistle. Well, you can have go to town with it. That's how you get down with it. But adding this extra preservatives in there. Come on, I'm going to do a video on actually the difference between a vegetarian, a vegan, and a raw vegan. Okay? So people can just get it. Because I was lost too. So you say you're a vegan. What is a vegan? You say you're a raw vegan? What's that, what's that the difference between raw vegan and vegan? Would you just eat raw meat? Or, oh, my fact, that's right. Vegans don't eat meat. <laughs> anyway, I'm just trying to help you understand the power of your body. Now, see, I went in. And I talk for 25 minutes. So those of you that see the time frame, don't watch it. Okay? I'm cool with that. You know, why I don't get why I'm getting thumbs down on videos that literally 
are just free videos. You ain't paying nothing to watch them. And, uh, you know, you ain't got to watch them. Oh, that's too long. Let me give him a thumbs down. He could have just shut up. <laughs> I mean, I got to had a dude that called, said I was, a, I think, a dumb nigga for what? Telling y'all about Black Sea Oil? Because the price shot up. He had to pay more money, so he didn't want nobody else to know. He wanted to keep it to himself. You got individuals out there like that that don't want you guys to have free information. I'm not selling Black Sea Oil. Although I might now, because y'all keep calling me, asking me about it. Now, that's another story. But about your body, back to that, your body is powerful. Any disease or issues that you got, you can rid of these problems and issues by just fasting, getting out in the sun, looking, actually taking the time to grow in your backyard, grow your own little favorite ones that you've got. Believe me, I'm going to start doing some videos showing you how I'm getting in and get my little, you know, my plant and my garden together. So y'all can actually understand that we blacks can do this, you know, you know, just, just, just because our grand, great, great grandfathers didn't show us how, great grandmothers didn't show us how, don't mean you can't, you know. And some of your parents and mothers is living today, your fathers and whatnot, they know how to do this. And they ain't really sharing, I don't understand. But they think we just so modernized and, and, and uh, you know. Caught up in the city type life. We don't want to do nothing but go to the store. But I'm telling you, that store is killing you. And if you go in the store, there's so many things that can actually help you and assist you with your body. You just got to know where to look. Okay? So anyways, this was Kareem's actually kind of like a rant. But what I'm trying to tell you exactly how powerful your body is. This was an educational thing. You know, it, it actually had, I put some nuggets in there, some powerful nuggets, like, we, you know, about the actual sun gazing and whatnot. You can literally, that's so much energy from sun gazing. 98% versus 2%. Some of y'all ain't getting none. None. So literally just getting up, going there, doing that every other day. Start off with once a week. Then grow up sun gazing for like 30 seconds. And in the morning or 30 seconds at night. Or if you only got time for it one time, do it one time. Catch it in the morning or catch it at night before the sun goes down for 30 seconds. Just do that once a week. Then start graduating to twice a week. Then graduate to three, three times a week. Then start graduating to the point that now you can maybe do it a little bit when the sun is at its peak for about 30 seconds. Your eyes will get stronger. And then that energy that comes through your body is so powerful, super energizing your cells and your immune system. You eating. The sun is feeding you. You eating. You ain't gonna be hungry. <laughs> so you automatically gonna start trimming down on weight. Your circulation is gonna be better. You know how powerful the sun is? You eating everything the sun is growing. You having a piece of that. Majority of everything is coming from that sun, okay? And you eating taking, and you eat, and you actually partaking in that. So don't think, oh man, I had to bring that back. So don't think the sun is not powerful. So I don't know how much this cut out and got blurred. But anyways, this is your boy Kareem. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I had my rant for a long enough time. I think that was what? It got blurred again. I think that was about 30 minutes. I can rock with that. Anyways, it's your boy Kareem. Oh, I'm tripping. I'm out. Peace.